Hi, Reject Nation. We're going to capitalize on all the fun today. Uh -huh. It's been happening with the Predator 2018 edition. Oh, man. Did I have a bald of a time at the theater? I don't know what everyone's <laughs> complaining about, man. This movie is one of the top 10 best movies of the year. Definitely one of the best Predator movies. Oh yeah, just hey, we post a lot on our Stardust app and this is not a sponsored video because anytime you mention something outside of here, people think it's sponsored. We just post a lot over there and would love it if you could follow us. So check out our Stardust reaction. You can see how much we love the movie right when we walked out. It's definitely different. Yeah. It's definitely different. It doesn't even try to be a horror movie whatsoever. Kind of flat. I felt like uh, the first hour I, I enjoyed, even though I was aware that it wasn't great. I, I had a good time. I laughed a lot. I enjoyed the gore. Pretty good cast. Uh, the last 30 to 40 minutes really feels like Shane Black's giving up on this movie, though, man. Hard to get through. Um, but, yeah, like two out of five, I guess. Two out of five stars. Real men. Oh, that's how we felt. Yeah, that's about right. Let's talk about this movie. I'm not going to try to sound fancy. Look, here's what 20th Century Fox says the movie's about. When a young boy accidentally triggers the universe's most lethal hunters to return to Earth, only a ragtag crew of ex-soldiers and a disgruntled science teacher can prevent the end of the human race. Yeah, that sounds amazing. So many people are bagging on this movie. <laughs> Every review I've heard is constantly using the word disappointing, which I'm very much fascinated by that choice of word for this specific film. I love the original 1987 Predator movie. I think it's a great action sci-fi film mixed with a lot of awesome horror elements. There's a lot of greatness to that film. I think that Predator movie is great. I think the franchise is not good. <laughs> There's a difference there. It's not like this movie needs to follow up something amazing that came before it because it doesn't come from a line of amazing films. Well, and the, the legacy of the first Predator movie isn't necessarily due to the fact that it is some groundbreaking, incredible film. It's just really good at being what it is, delivering a very action-packed and very visceral kind of horror-centric experience. For people to say this movie movie's disappointing. I don't agree with that choice of words because I'm like, it's the Predator franchise, it been, guys. <laughs> it would have been more surprising had it been really great. <laughs> that does not mean that this film is necessarily good. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't say that either. Nor would I say <laughs> this movie is meh or okay. I would say what I said on Twitter. It's the most entertainingly bad film I've seen in a long time because Sorry, I'm sorry. Here's how I'll break down my experience with the film. The opening, like the prologue to this movie is, is so cheesily awful. But then it gets into the introduction. You get act one with Boyd Hallbrook, the setup of the movie, which I thought was decent. Then you get to act two, which I think is very much aware of what this film is going for. It's a cheesy, dumb action with some comedy lines in here that are genuinely really funny. There were comedy, comedic moments in here that are super duper funny. And then, if you know how typical Hollywood screenplays go, there's an all is lost moment in these big Hollywood films, which occurs a little bit before the finale. Right around that time is when the movie just becomes bad. It's not even like cheesy, fun, bad, yeah. or aware of how dumb it is. And then when you get to the ending, like the very end of this movie, it just becomes lazy and awful. It's just awful. The last it's 30 so to silly. 40 minutes, it it's literally so is Shane Black going, screw this, I hate all the studio notes, let's just get this over with. You yeah, know? like as far as finales go, it's one of those where you're partway through, you're like, I know how many things we need to do to wrap this up and we're not halfway through. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it gets it, it gets kind of tedious uh, to yeah. sit through in, in the last half hour of this film, but there's some movies where you can go, you know, the first two thirds aren't bad, it's the <laughs> third, the the last third that's really awful and sometimes that last third doesn't ruin a lot of what came before it this movie uh, uh, it does uh, because of plot points that occur and are revealed it does affect a lot of that first two thirds first two thirds are not great but i think they're entertaining and i think they're enjoyable i think they're dumb kind of schlocky with some shame black comedy can i really quickly touch on the comedy part of this there's like three official trailers this movie had like the teaser trailer and the two main trailers on one of them at least one of them we had said that 
This movie probably has a lot of comedy that's just not being represented in the movie. It's from Shane Black. You keep saying this is a Shane Black's movie. Where's the Shane Black humor? It seems like there's a personality of these soldiers that are gonna bring a whole new layer to this film. The trailer's not doing anything to reflect that. None of the trailers have. And almost every review I'm seeing of this film, people are harping on the fact that this film has comedy. Well, everyone's calling it a comedy, which led me to go in expecting it to be like wildly different in tone than what I actually got yeah. even. Like, yeah, there's a lot of humor and anytime you get a bunch of ragtag mercenaries together, yeah. like you're gonna have that. And or I you put Shane Black's name on it, it's yeah, gonna have that. Yeah. <laughs> and so for me, I was actually like, oh, people led me to believe this would be a lot more wacky yeah. and, and joke oriented than I thought. Basically. I mean, there's a lot of scenes where it's very much like it's out of a comedy. I don't know why anyone's like surprised by how much comedy there is. It's, it's like it's Shane Black, guys. It felt like a Predator <laughs> movie that had a decent amount of comedy. Yeah. And it didn't feel like a Predator comedy to me. There's a scene in a, in a hotel room <laughs> that I personally really thought was funny. I think it goes on a little too long, but I genuinely laughed because, and they wanted to make you laugh. But and I thought okay. it was really funny. You're yeah. okay with it going on a little while because it's one of the better moments in the yeah, movie that's it, actually fun that you're it, actually it's, pulled it's in for. It's super comedic. Yeah. But I really enjoyed it. It involves all the soldiers. Thomas Jane, Keegan Michael Key, guy got his penis ripped off in Game of Thrones, some Mexican guy. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Alf Alfie Allen or whatever yeah, his yeah. name is. And then a guy who I thought was 50 Cent when he first showed up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a really funny moment. It, like the whole that whole dialogue and Olivia Munn's lines there too I think are super funny. But I also think it seems like that why, why people have an issue with the movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's as in terms of the proportion of scenes, it, it's kind of all over the place. So in terms of what this franchise has evolved into, because you kind of kind of look at the franchise as a whole. Has it evolved? It doesn't. Has it no, really evolved? It's, it's what it's devolved <laughs> into. There's like no horror in this movie whatsoever. There's there's gore. There's a lot of there's gore. Some really there's, cool there's gore. There's some awesome gore. And there's a lot of gore. There's uh, barely any suspense. There's a lack of tension for sure. It's really just the first two thirds are, are kind of just a, a fun, enjoyable, silly romp. I would not say this movie's boring. The characters are whatever to me in the movie. They're a ragtag bunch of mercenaries. You know, they're, yeah. they're as colorful as you'd expect, but they're not extraordinary in any way. I think if there's one element that I would say is disappointing to me ab uh, about it is the fact that Shane Black's involved and the characters are so two dimensional when I feel like what Shane Black does so well is character. Yeah, I feel like this movie has a lot of Shane Black earmarks that just don't get fleshed or <laughs> yeah. utilized hardly at all. Like, it, it's weird to look at all of his other movies and then to look at this because this really does feel like a very watered-down Shane Black. Like, Shane Black light is what this movie is to me. It's, it's a, especially in the last third of this movie, you can feel a lot of studio notes. I felt like it. Yeah, yeah there's, a like there's, a, a there's a lot of, try this out, try this out, do this now. The trailer reveal a lot. I think if you watch the trailers, you can kind of, kind of see how this movie's going to play out for most of it. Yeah. Um, the part when the movie really lost me is towards the finale, and I, and I can't go into it like too much without spoiling it. It's towards the finale, but then I thought about it today, and I think when the film really gets lost is when they introduce the upgrade predator. <laughs> Ultra when, predator. The, when the predator storyline really starts to kick in, I, I the movie started to lose me increasingly. Yeah, <laughs> because there is a story going on between the predators as well as the story going on between the predator and the humans. This movie starts off with aware of what it is, cheesiness, goofiness fun action into, oh, this is just awful now. There's this whole plot line that starts being introduced with giant predator, which is distracting because the original predator is all practical and then the, the new predator is CGI. <laughs> the movie has that across the board because there was one moment where I was watching and I was like, oh wow, really admiring this animatronic predator head that they had. I was like, oh cool, like a practical effect. And like some of the gore effects are also practical, but then the other half of everything is all CG. There there's and some so, terrible CG at mo moments, like t flat out terrible CG. Yeah, and so like the the predator, the the element we all arguably came to see is kind of distracting in the bigger picture. Yeah, because the effects just aren't consistent with each other. Towards the finale is when like a lot of the major complaints I think really occur: terrible storytelling, terrible plot decisions, terrible editing. There's like some really bad editing. The and, thing about and... yeah, that affected me for this movie overall because honestly, I thought like the first. Third was 
fine. It was like, uh, all right. It was a lot of exposition. Like, that was, I sat there kind of being like, I'm used to better dialogue from Shane Black, especially with things like this. And then the second third is fun. I thought was that was the most fun part is the second act, and then the third part is just a mess. But yeah. the whole movie, like, especially during the first act, I was like, this movie doesn't have rhythm. Hey, get a rhythm. It keeps moving forward and all the scenes feel like they're yeah. the same length. And then, you know, we move on to something else and then there'll be a random, like, two-shot scene thrown in. And so, yeah, like, the movie overall stops having a pace. And then when it gets but, to but the it finale... Never, but it never stops having energy. Which it is, has which energy. Is, which yeah, is it weird. Have rhythm. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, a, yeah. it's like a drummer who wants to do a lot of stuff but doesn't have any sense of timing. Yeah. So it's just kind of hitting it's all like the sounds. Incoherent, like, fast paced movie yeah <laughs> so it's not boring <laughs> and then it kind of finds a pace for the finale but then the finale isn't engaging hardly at all oh no then, no it's yeah. awful i like the cast i thought like all the the actors themselves brought an appropriate amount of personality yeah. and i thought that like olivia munn was really was like legit good in her performance i like, thought she was really good natural. we're only saying that because of all the controversy she's been receiving and we want to defend women <laughs> That was the irony, though. I was sitting there going, no, like, she's act she you is are genuine. the best actor in this movie. She, the, uh, <laughs> the character's whatever, but her performance is good. It's, yeah, she's just very natural. Kind of goes that way for most of the cast. Because uh, all the characters talk the same. I really feel like a lot of the last third is just like a giant rewrite and a giant reshoot. Yeah. It does feel that I feel way. like a lot of stuff. Because everyone's, was. like, suddenly, there's a lot of F-bombs in this movie, but in the last, like, half hour, I'm like, why does every sentence have the F-word in it? Everyone starts talking the same, the dialogue is... It all, they all starts having the same voice. Each act feels like it's out of another movie. There's a lot yeah. of plot lines and subplots that are introduced that I, I think that if you can that, you could have had a more cohesive, more interesting film. If you, I think you should have cut out the whole like giant predator upgrade thing. I thought that was that really weakened the movie for me. The motivation for most of the Predator stuff is kind of perplexing. No, it's it's <laughs> With really no awful. explanation, it's kind of, yeah. Sterling K. Brown was funny and cool, but then in the finale, I'm like, that what old. is this guy? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I was a lot cooler with that character before I sort of understood yeah. what he was about, and then I... Like, I hate mm. when movies like this try to seem more important by having commentary on society. Like, they start going into you know, climate change. They go into <laughs> people with mental illness, with PTSD. No, Asperger's is Asperger's a superpower. Asperger's or Tourette's. Super Tourette's makes you funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I hate when movies like this try to sound more important, like out of nowhere. I'm like, don't do that. I understand pulling these things to add real world details and there are ways to take those things and to use them to give something thin a little more dimension. But the weird thing is they do bother to address so many different mental uh, states for so many different characters that you're like, are you gonna utilize these in any way, yeah. shape, form? <laughs> or are you just kind of trying to character develop by naming conditions we're all aware of? Because <laughs> the thing too is like, in a movie like this, I'm not sitting there going, I'm hoping for great character arcs. But in a movie executed the way this one is executed, by the end you realize like, Nobody grows, changes, nothing yeah. happens to anyone. Everyone's pretty much the same. When they're, the when they're setting them up, especially certain characters for that. When I say it's an entertainingly bad movie, it's like this movie feels like a B movie to me. It's it, it's fast paced with two dimensional characters with a lot of gore. It's, it and can be really of, funny and amusing at times, and then and then but then it just gets horrible. Yeah, uh, and, and all of it's wrapped in kind of a flat yeah. aesthetic. Like you know, the shots aren't overly amazing in any direction. I weirdly kept thinking the Meg could have borrowed <laughs> this. Tone and style. Predator could have borrowed the tone and style of the Meg. Yeah, exactly. The movie, they probably would have been better movies if you exactly. swap them around. Hundred <laughs> percent. You know? But yeah, guys, uh, it's not disappointing. It's entertainingly bad. I was, I was, I was amused. Even, like, I only really got bored in the last twenty minutes. But other than that, I, I wasn't bored. It's not good. Like, I think two out of five is a fair rating because it's two and a half on a good day. It's not a good movie, but it's at least entertaining. <laughs> and, and and depending on what your expectations are for movie like this you might have a perfectly fine time all right guys well did you love the predator did you hate it where would you rank this in the franchise are you actually disappointed what did you expect? if you're disappointed by this one you must be disappointed every time a predator movie comes out yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're just holding on to your copy of the adrian yeah. brody joint being like we didn't know how good we had it in 2009 yeah. or whatever that was you guys can subscribe to the reject nation and click that notification bell 
the subscribe buttons are broken. You can check us out on Patreon. We got TV show reactions, Q and A's. More importantly, follow us on the Star Us app. We post plenty over there. Post pretty much daily. Would love to. Have, I don't know. Start Stardust. Just follow us by.